I just got back from New York City, which has one of the biggest Lego stores in the USA. I bought a lot of cool things there and I saw a lot of cool places on the way. So let's get into it. So after leaving from home, we had a long way to go. Like I've mentioned before, I live in Wisconsin and we're going to New York. That's a really long way away. And we didn't really see anything interesting until we went to Illinois and we saw Chicago. It was really foggy, but it was still cool to see. And after that, we arrived in Indiana. Indiana was kind of boring, to be honest. In Michigan, we stopped at this hot dog place and right next to it was this huge nuclear power plant, which was super super cool. I'd never seen one of these in real life. It kind of felt like we were in the middle of nowhere, but still very cool. After that, we kept driving until we got to our hotel by Lake Huron. And when I woke up the next morning, there was a bunch of birds outside the window. Don't know what that was about. And the first thing we did this day was leave the US. We went over this huge bridge and went to Canada. It's kind of funny. One of the road signs just says Canada this way, but it was my first time out of the country. And to be honest, Canada is literally the exact same as the US. It's just every now and then you'll see a Canadian flag. So we went through Canada for a while until it was time to head back into the US. And we did that by going over a bridge right next to Niagara Falls. We also stopped at Niagara Falls and it was really beautiful. The water didn't drop down as far as I expected by looking at pictures, but we definitely saw it from the best side, which was the Canadian side. You could even see there was people in boats down in the river that were probably getting splashed by so much water. That was really cool. Niagara Falls was definitely a highlight of the trip, but it was time to go back to the US. So we went across the bridge and arrived in New York. Now after this, we had a whole bunch of more driving to do because we had to get from one side of New York to the other. And on the way, we stopped at this really cool state park. It was a giant ravine with a river running through it and there was bridges and waterfalls. It was super cool. As you can see, I took a lot of pictures here and videos. It might've actually been better than Niagara Falls. I really liked walking on the side of this thing. At Niagara Falls, you couldn't really get this close. But after that, it was time to hit the road again. And I was kind of sad to leave this really cool park. And after taking a detour through Pennsylvania, we arrived in New York City. Well, this is the outskirts of New York City. But as you can see, it was extremely foggy and we didn't even see a skyline until right here and you could still barely see it. And to get into New York, we had to go through this huge tunnel. We didn't take any of the bridges, I think because they were so busy, but there's a lot of traffic in this tunnel. And then we arrived in New York and I was immediately shocked by how there's literally no traffic laws. At stoplights, bikers will ride in between the cars and they look like they're going to crash into you, but they aren't. I don't have any videos of this, but trust me, it happens a lot. But anyway, there were so many buildings and it took us like 30 minutes to get from the bridge to our hotel and it wasn't even that far away. Way. This was the building we stayed in. We got checked in and then we went back out to go visit Times Square. We were literally right next to Times Square. This is the view from our room. And how busy it looks here is how it was the entire time. I got up at like three in the morning, I think probably because I got woken up by how loud it was. And it was still this busy. It truly is the city that never sleeps. But anyway, Times Square was really cool. It was packed with people and I wouldn't really recommend going. It's just a bunch of billboards and it was insanely loud. Have a listen. <sighs> After seeing Times Square, we were pretty wiped out, so we went to bed, and the next morning, we had a lot of exploring to do. The first place we went was the Rockefeller Center, which is where they filmed the Today Show. We actually got to see the inside of the studio, just through a window, but there wasn't anyone in there because they'd already finished their show. But the Rockefeller Center was really cool. We went in it and they had this huge mall and we wandered through that for a while until we got out on the other side and there was just this random church in the middle of the city. It is a pretty famous church, but it seems really out of place in like such modern buildings. We went inside of it and it was really cool. And right across from it was the reason we came. Well, not the reason we came. We were here for a wedding, but... Still, the Lego store was across the street and there was a huge line because we got there right before it opened. And I thought that was going to be a big problem. We were going to have to wait in line for a while, but they don't have like a limit on how many people they let in. So it cleared up really fast. So after exploring the cathedral, we went in the Lego store and it was amazing. This Lego store has a bunch of huge builds everywhere and a bunch of display cases. It's totally like the Mall of America Lego store. They had a Hulk sitting on a bench and other Marvel characters all around. They seem to have a fixation on Marvel, which kind of makes sense because, you know, most of those are set in New York City. They also have a bunch of New York buildings things in the background. They had the Statue of Liberty. They had this really cool taxi, which I got to take a picture in. You can tell this kid is jealous. But the main attraction of the store was definitely this really cool Lego tree they had in the center. I've seen a lot of pictures of this. It was cool to see in person. As you can see, I had quite the fixation on filming this tree. They also did have a lot of sets. I checked out the Star Wars section on the first floor and I thought this was it. So I was kind of disappointed, but then you realize there's actually a whole second floor. And on the second floor, they have a bunch more sets. As you can see, this was the second floor Lego Star Wars section. They didn't have any more Harry Potter up here. I think that was all on the first floor, but the Star Wars section was really nice. 
There's also more builds up here. And on both of the floors, they had a bunch of New York sets set aside. So like, I don't know, tourists can get souvenirs. And I hate to say it, I fell into that trap and I got two very New York themed Lego sets. I mean, I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but they seemed like the appropriate thing to get. But overall, the Lego store is really cool. It was a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I guess most Lego stores are only one floor. And this one definitely has way more brick built models. And after I checked out, this is what my bag looked like. You might think this is overkill for only those two sets I bought, but I did buy one more thing that I saw last minute, so I didn't get a chance to film it. I was literally checking out when I grabbed it, so we have to wait till the end of the video where I open the bag to see it. After I bought my Legos, we went back to the hotel to drop them off. We saw more sites. We went to the 9-11 Memorial, which was really powerful. They had these huge fountains, and one of them wasn't working, but the other one was, so that was very nice. And right next to the Memorial, they have this huge new World Trade Center. It's called the One World Trade Center, and we tried to go to the top. It was like $50 a person, very expensive, but there was so much wind that it like affected the elevator. So that was kind of disappointing. Those would have been some really good shots for the video. After we left the memorial, we went to see the Statue of Liberty because why not? And it was actually really difficult to see. They have these barriers. Luckily, there was a small tear. So we were able to kind of poke our heads through and see it. So this video of the Statue of Liberty is just me trying to get my phone through this small hole. After this, it was getting pretty late in the day, but we did stop at this other church and we got to see Alexander Hamilton's grave. I know this is kind of a random thing to see and we just sort of stumbled upon it. We also quickly stopped to visit Grand Central Station. Sand Central Station to all the true Lego Marvel fans. And then later that night, we got to see a Broadway play. It was really good. This is all I got of it because you know you're not allowed to film those. And after another night of rest, we headed out. And this day, it was actually clear skies, which was awesome. So that meant when we left New York on one of the bridges, I could actually see the full New York skyline. So this is not where our adventure ends. Like I mentioned before, I'm in New York for a wedding. So we had to drive even further in New York to go to this wedding and the wedding was very fun except for the fact that the hotel we stayed at said they had a pool and it was an outdoor pool and the pool wasn't even filled so that was really disappointing and on the way back we got to see a tesla cyber truck and the reason i took a picture of this is because we had seen a lot of cyber trucks in new york but we didn't see any more when we got to pennsylvania and we continued driving until we got back home in wisconsin so overall, it was a really good trip, and every part of it was really fun, except for that one pool. I'm never going to forgive this hotel. But you guys are probably wondering what I got in the Lego bag. So here it is. I got the Indiana Jones UCS set thing. This is a set I've been stocking for a long time, and for some reason at the Lego store in New York City, it's on sale. There's so many things about that that don't make sense. For one, everything is expensive in New York, and it's at a Lego store. Since when do like sets at Lego stores go on sale? And it is a really cool set. Review coming soon. And the other two sets I already showed you, I got this New York taxi and the New York skyline. And I also got a gift with purchase, probably the lamest one I've ever gotten. I'm saying this after I've built it, and it's really not that great. They don't even use gold for the trophy, it's just yellow. But overall, the sets were really cool, and I will be reviewing them soon eventually. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you ever go to New York, be sure to visit the Lego store and sit in the taxi.